it's Carol. I'm back. I just want to do a quick little string pull today. I'm just going to pour some black down. This is mixed with Floetrol. A little bit thinner than what you would normally put on your pores. I want it to be able to spread nicely. This is Artist Loft Black, by the way. The Flow Acrylic one. And uh, mixed with Floetrol 50-50. No silicone in this. But sometimes when the Floetrol sits in the paint for a while, you'll get more selling than if it's just freshly mixed. I've noticed that recently because some of my paints have been mixed for a bit and they've really kind of gone funny with the Otter's Loft. Anyway, I can get my sides later. I'm going to spread this with my comb. Okay, so I've got some string. I think I'll do some red first. Just dip my string in here. I got some new chain, so I'll be doing some chain pulls soon. The ball chain which works really good. All right, let's see if this one's long enough. Just gonna do random. Another red one in. I usually dampen my string a little bit, but I forgot. Some string is a little stiffer than others. This one's not too bad, so I, it's not that mandatory. This is uh, Dollar Rowney. Brilliant red. And then I think I have a light magenta from the uh, Liquitex Basics, this pink I'll use. Let's see how that one comes out. Some smaller ones here. Got another big one. Whoops. Okay, time to pull. Just pull straight. Phoenix. All right, so that one's one. This 
one looks like it had less paint on it. Two. Oh, aren't they pretty? I don't know if I want to put the pink in there. Oh, why not? Mix it up a bit. Mix it up a bit. We get another string and put it in the pink. I'm going to do a bigger canvas soon. Just wanted to see how the red and black would come out. See the little cells? That's from the flow trawl. along the side just to get the excess off. it for a minute. Pink and red, eh? Hmm. This one came a little funny. We can go over it. I'll try and go over this one. Let's get some of that excess off. There we go. Not as many cells popping through on that one. I'll try a small pink one now. Just put it in, dip it, make sure it's covered, run it along the side, and then you're good to go. And still got a little bit. There we go. I'll stick another one in while I'm here. Now, see, that's a different paint, that's a Liquitex basics paint and that's an artist loft. No, that's a Dollar Rowney actually. So different paints react different in the flow trawl because I'm sure they've both been sitting the same length of time in the flow trawl. Some produce more cells than others and I guess it depends on the color too maybe. Oh. 
going to pull, I think I'll do a red one now. Mix it up more, fill it in, just make it busier. front right here. That's a little one. There's another one. So I'm liking how this looks so far. Just have to do one more, maybe, or two, and I should be done. Can't rush it. I don't want to rush it, really. So, this will push it along the side. I'm going to do another one right here. Let's pull this one. That didn't show up too much. pink one just in the front there I like those little ones. I'm going to do another. Maybe I'll do a red one there. Another red one. Oops. Stuck to my finger. Ooh, that one mixed in with the pink. Maybe a small red one there. I know this is getting kind of crowded. It's not a very big canvas. It's only five by seven. But you get the idea anyway, how much fun this is. 
and easy to do. I don't want to wreck that little guy there. I like that one. Hmm. I'll just put it right here. Okay. Oh, I have a pink one in here already. It's a small one. Maybe I'll put it right, right here. There. Well, should I do one more or what? Let me see. Let me have a look. Oh, I think it's fine. I'm not sure. Hmm. No, maybe not. I was going to do one here, but... No, oh, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm stopping. I don't want to get too carried away. I don't want to get too crazy. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'll put the colors in the description below. My mixtures in the description below. I have some things on Amazon that I'm selling in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'm going to do a bigger one because now the, I like the red and the black. As long as the black's not too thick, it comes out great. And the red didn't sink. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll bring it up to a close-up. And I'll put the dried results on my uh, at the end of this video. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. So I'm here and I'm looking at my dried string pole. My, five, my little five by seven, pink and red. It's dried pretty smooth, nice and smooth. Got some little cells going on there. Colors came out nice, and I'm happy with it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.